Hey everyone and welcome back. I want to start this video by saying thank you to my first 100 plus subs. I know it's not a huge milestone, but I really appreciate all the support. These videos take a lot of time and work to put together and all the feedback really makes it worth it. I'm always looking up new ways to improve my videos and I'm still learning, so thank you again for the support. With that said, my name is Birdies and this is going to be a complete crossbow guide. In this video, we're going to be going over everything you need, including the traits, loadouts, and play styles you should aim for when using these weapons. The video is going to be split into sections if you ever need to come back and rewatch parts of the guide, so let's hop into it. We should start by looking at all the crossbows. This is the order that you're going to be unlocking them in. First is the two slot hand crossbow, followed by the hand crossbow poison. After those two is when you unlock the full size crossbows, starting with the regular crossbow, followed by the crossbow explosive, and lastly the shot bolt crossbow. Two of these crossbows aren't really worth using so I won't be going over them. This includes the hand crossbow poison and the explosive crossbow. Firstly, the hand crossbow poison isn't a one shot, and in a lot of cases it won't really help you because most people run antidote shots. Just by comparing the two hand crossbows, the regular one is far superior than the poison. The explosive crossbow isn't totally useless, but it plays a lot different than the other three crossbows we'll be talking about. The only real benefit to running the explosive crossbow is that it can flush out people out of areas because it's literally a dynamite explosion. But it doesn't shoot as far or go as fast as the other three crossbows, so it's just not really worth it. So now that we removed those two crossbows, we're going to be going over the other three. I'm going to be giving you the perks, loadouts, and playstyles for each of them. They're all really similar, so everything you learn in this video will be able to apply to all three. Alright, now let's look at the traits that'll help you with these weapons. Looking at the first picks, the first one is Bolt Thrower for obvious reasons. It cuts your reload time in half, and is just a must have. Up next is Life Foot, and I can't stress this trait enough, it is so useful. This trait really helps you maneuver around compounds without being detected. Especially since you're running crossbows, you gotta be up close and personal when you get kills. And lastly in the first pick category, I usually take Physician. It helps a ton when you're in those close quarter fights and you need to get a really quick heal off. Your secondary pickups should be Silent Killer to help maintain silence as much as possible when you're near other hunters. I found that Whisper Smith fits into crossbow loadouts really well, especially for the two points. Beast Face also helps you stay quiet in areas where birds should have went off, but since you have Beast Face it'll allow you to get by. And lastly, I usually take Fanning. Fanning really helps when you miss that crossbow shot and they're rushing you. You can just swap real quick and get that almost fully automatic pistol and just kill them. Okay, and if you're able to get all those traits, here's a list of other traits that are also useful on these loadouts. I'm just going to mention a couple of them real quick. Starting with Quartermaster, this perk really increases the versatility of the hand crossbow loadouts, which we'll get to soon. I've also found that Gator Lades is really useful because it can help you maintain silence while moving around in the water. And also, Tight Skin pairs really well with Life Foot. It can help you do things quietly that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do. Traits are all preference based, so you can use whatever you like. The biggest thing is you want to maintain silence since you are going to be within about 20 meters of other killers to get the lethal shot. But if you take the traits that I recommend, you'll find that you'll be extremely quiet and be able to move around without people noticing you. Now let's look at the loadouts. We're going to begin with the hand crossbow. To start, you want to make sure you're taking a med kit and a knife. I really like the throwing knives with crossbows, but that's just my preference. I also take things like traps or fuses in crossbow loadouts. I find that they're pretty useful. For tools, you want to bring any explosive of your choice, a vitality shot, and I also bring an antidote shot. For the hand crossbow, you want to consider this weapon more as your sidearm. You want to be running things like the Mosin Abrez or a Winfield Vandal variant as your main weapon. I don't really recommend taking pistols for this weapon, even if it's a dual pistol setup. If you do this, you will have no medium to long range, making you an easy target. With Quartermaster, you can even run bigger guns like the Labelle or Vertelli. You don't want to take weapons that are a single shot either. The crossbow and the shot bolt run pretty much the same loadout, so I'm going to be putting them together. They play differently but run the same items. The tools and consumables are the same as the previous loadout. The sidearm is the only change between these loadouts and the hand crossbow loadouts. For the sidearm, you want to bring a pistol that can cover your mid-range, such as the Caldwell Pax, Le Mat, or the Uppercut. You can also put on Quartermaster and run any Winfield Vandal variant or the Mosin Abrez. The last half of the video is going to be looking at how each weapon works and how they should play. It's important to note that crossbows are made to be up close and personal. Silence is going to be your best friend. With crossbows, you want to make sure that you are able to take the first shot every time you run into people. It's also important to note that crossbow loadouts also play really similar no matter if you're running solos or with a team. If you're playing as a solo, it's pretty straightforward. You want to track down and hunt the other hunters. It is very important that your first shot is a kill shot. This will allow you to take a 1v1 once you take out the first of the duo team. When you're playing in a team setting such as duos or trios, your job's pretty much the same. You want to track down other hunters, but instead you want to leave your team to be able to lurk forward to get a closer position. And if a fight breaks out before you're able to lurk ahead, your new job is to find a way to creep forward while your teammate holds the place down. Crossbows are not easy weapons inside of Hunt Showdown, and they're also the only weapon that has bullet drops, so be sure you get familiar with that. Let's break down this hand crossbow clip. 
I'm running towards the team with the bounty to cut them off from Extract. As I'm moving forward, a quick fight breaks out. I made sure to move forward silently while listening and watching the fight in front of me. While the fight is happening, I made sure to clear some zombies out of my path to make sure the other teams won't hear me. I check the area that I post up in and wait. I probably shouldn't have shot here, but I was just seeing if I can land it, honestly. So now the fight stops and I can hear one near me. I wasn't too sure where the other one was until he shot at me, and luckily he missed, so I fell back behind a tree line. I could hear the first hunter rush me, so I peeked in before he was too close. And listen, I know I said not to bring dual pistols, and I still stand by that, I just wanted to try it out. It's pretty trash unless you're really close. After killing him, I immediately reload my crossbow, and I was going to heal until I heard his teammate rush me from the other side. I decided to chuck a dynamite to make him push back, but luckily I got the kill. Alright, now let's break down this shot bolt clip. To start this, a whole lot of fighting was happening at this compound, so I decided to sneak in and pick people off. I heard one above me, so I watched the stairs. I then waited until I at least saw his body to make sure I got a one-shot kill. My teammate was outside watching another team that was showing up to the fight, so we were pretty split and I decided to firebomb the person that I downed. After I threw the firebomb, his teammate threw a choke bomb on top of him, so now I knew there was at least one more upstairs. After waiting a little while, I decided to reposition to get upstairs. While doing this, my teammate got shot down, so I had to hurry before I got sandwiched between two teams. I missed my first shot, so I decided to rush him to finish him off before the other team got there. I now wanted to find a way to sneak over and heal my teammate. I set up alert traps to help me locate the other team while I was heading out the back door. They set off a trap downstairs so I decided to rush them while they were preoccupied. With one person left, I wanted to reposition again to get a better angle. Unfortunately, I didn't know about this giant hole in the wall, or else it would have been a different story, but you can't win them all. Now let's break down this crossbow clip. I was originally looking for bear traps to set up since I just found the spider, but as I was doing that, I heard footsteps right outside me. So I decided to wait until they got inside. I heard the footsteps, so I waited until I could get a clean kill shot. After that, I decided to peek to see where her teammate was at. After a quick skirmish, he decided to run out and try to move around me. I didn't want to rush him because I wasn't sure if he had a shotgun. And so after trading a couple shots from afar, I decided to light his friend on fire to make him push in. And then I held down an area. And just as predicted, he came back to put out the fire, and I was able to get a clean shot. Well guys, I hope this video helped you understand how to use crossbows, and maybe you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe, I make videos every Friday. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to check out the video I link at the end, and have a good day.